views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. Psychic answers and spiritual solutions with psychic visionary and vibrational healers, Carol Dorian and Justice Welling, where you can call in and ask about your chakras, aura, and spiritual DNA. Tune in and discover the energy that is contradictive to your path of wholeness. Get ready to meet the most important person in your life, you. Well, hello, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in. It is a real pleasure to be here today. And today we're going to be talking about the spiritual and emotional effects of being involved or connected to a narcissistic person. And for those of you who are listening to the show, you have questions, you'd like to call in, or express your experience, what you have been through, or your opinions, feel free to do so. You are more than welcome to call in. We would love to hear from you. And you know, today, this topic, this one really, really pulls at my heart. I have been doing my work for over 23 years, and I have seen people from so many different spectrums, so many different experiences when it comes to the effect that relationships have had in their lives. And the narcissistic effect is one that I would have to say is one of the most painful and crushing experiences mentally, spiritually, and even physically. And when a person comes into a situation of understanding, really understanding that this is the kind of relationship that they've been in, this is the kind of person they've been with, it's like an aha moment. It's like this light switch just turns on. And you realize that all of this time, you actually were not the one who was crazy. There's, there's nothing wrong with you. So we're going to be going into the symptoms and signs of how to identify narcissism. What is it? What are the symptoms that the person yields? What are the signs that tell you that that person does have a narcissistic disorder. And we're going to talk about the effect that it has on your whole being. We're going to cover the chakras that this connects to each chakra, each trait of the narcissist, what chakra it connects to and what portion of the spiritual self becomes broken down through connecting to the narcissistic person as well as how to heal, how to emerge from that energetic drain, because it is very, very draining energetically. People who have had their energy field, their heart and their mind objected to a narcissistic person, it's so painful that even when they are removed from the situation, even when they remove their self or the person is no longer with them, the effect of that relationship leaves such a strong residual in the aura and it starts connecting to different portions of the energy field that it literally starts to create a magnet, that it draws in either other relationships with other people who are narcissistic and drain the person, or if it's not drawing in other types of uh, narcissistic people, what it's doing is 
it's drawing in situations that reopen that wound. And we'll go into discussing how, and we'll get into the details of exactly what it is that that means. So for those of you who are listening to this and taking this in, I know I'm talking a lot about the negative effect that being connected or exposed to a narcissistic person has, but there is definitely a solution and the the ability to heal, the ability to be set free of the residual and the pain, it is definitely there and it is available to you. So what I'd like to go into first at this time, I would like to touch on what it is that a narcissist really does, who a narcissist really is, despite who they show their self to be. Narcissists leave a trace in the aura. So even when they are gone, their effect is there. They use fear, guilt, and shame to force you under their control. This causes very deep-rooted damage in the solar plexus. And it starts chipping away at your identity, confidence, and personal power. The solar plexus chakra is all about identity. It's all about confidence. It's all about personal power. So when you are connecting to someone who is using fear and guilt and shame to to place you under their control, that portion of yourself, that solar plexus, is being constantly subjected to doubt, you doubting yourself, you feeling like you are not good enough, you feeling like your decisions could not possibly be right. The narcissistic person, you will find yourself trying to please this person, saying, if I would have only done it this way, if I would have only done it that way, maybe I could have said it better. Maybe I could have presented it better. But you will find that there is no pleasing this person. For those of you who are listening to this, I would like to tell you, it really is not in your power to please the narcissistic person. And what's worse than anything is that it can be triggered, that feeling at any time, and it just reopens the wounds again, even after the relationship is over, even after the person isn't there, the experiences become reopen, sending that vibrational frequency back into the aura that sends a message into the chakra that the threat, the emotional and spiritual threat is still there. This creates a closing of the energy field. This is where the energy field says, we need to go into protection mode. We are at a vulnerable risk state. And once that energy field starts closing down, what it's going to do is shut out new experiences, shut out new love, new openings, new beginnings, because it's going to associate everything new with what has already happened. But at the same time, now this is where it gets a little tricky and it's a little contradictive, but it does work this way. At the same time, it does start to draw in what it's familiar with. So it kind of places the aura in a reverse cycle where you are shutting out the new, but bringing in what is familiar, even if that is pain. We're going to be discussing the different types of narcissists. So unless you know what exactly narcissists do, 
you will not really be able to identify them. So you'll never know that this person could be ruining your life, but you'll always feel like a poison is running through your entire body, running through your entire auric field and energy system. You will feel it. Even if you are not aware that the person is a narcissist, you can feel the effect of the narcissistic energy. But it's very important to know exactly what that narcissistic energy looks like and sounds like. It's through that that you can identify exactly what you've been being subjected to. And that's, you know, once you identify what you have been subjected to, that's when you can start to open up that solar plexus and start to regain your personal power. That's where you get to that point where you're like, wait a minute, this is who I am. This is who I always was. And this is who this person has tried to tell me that I am. This is who this person has tried to make me. It's all about the personal power. And once you identify what you've been subjected to, you tap into that personal power. You know exactly who you are, but you have to know what you've been being subjected to, to know really who you are. Even for those of you who really do know who you are, you get lost and you forget who you are, what it is that you like, what it is that you stand for when you are subjected to the narcissistic energy. The narcissist will place you in a feeling that it's almost like you're unworthy to desire the things that you desire. You're unworthy to have pleasure and happiness. They do place you in that feeling, but you can gain back your personal control and power. You can gain back your identity by identifying this and clearing it out of your auric field. And we're going to touch more on that and the symptoms and the tell signs when we return after this short break. miss any shows during the week don't worry we've got you covered with the free transformation talk radio app you'll have access to all of the past week's shows in the palm of your hand tune in to transformation talk radio anywhere you go with our free app for any of your devices check out our app in the app store and google play store today Known for his keen sense of humor, contagious smile, and extensive esoteric wisdom, EJ translates deep spiritual wisdom into practical advice to empower you to live your happiest, most fulfilled experience. Mystic Living Radio, deep spiritual wisdom, practical advice with EJ, Eliyahu Jihan. This hit show delivers profound experiences for all who want to live life to their deepest desires. Tune in monthly for Mystic Living Radio. Learn more by visiting Vital Transformation. Org. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Do you want to heal your body and mind? Your body has a lot to tell you if you just learn to listen to your intuition. Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio, can help you peel away the layers that are holding you back from living your best life. Tune in to Rewired Life Radio 
Learn to love, heal, celebrate on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Connect with Audrey at AudreyMichelle.com. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. And we are back talking about narcissistic energy, the vibrational frequencies that it sends out into the aura, the effect that it has on the chakras and your overall well-being. And we're going to be touching and identifying what is it, what does a narcissist look like? What does it feel like? What do they sound like? And what is the message that they are sending out. You know, for those of you who are listening to this, this is not all about an intimate relationship. I have worked with people who have been subjected to the narcissistic energy with parents, coworkers, could be their boss. You know, there was one particular lady that I had worked with and she went through this with her boss. He was completely narcissistic whatever it is that she would do and whatever energy she'd put out constantly undermining her. And it's like, that's their greatest weapon, making you feel bad about yourself, undermining your self-confidence. And he was constantly undermining her when she'd speak, whatever efforts she'd put in, whatever she'd produce, even the compliments were undermining. It had such an effect on her when she left the company that she was working for, it took her, I want to say, a little under a year. I believe we were working together for about eight months. And then two months after that, she got back out into the work field, totally took away her ability to express herself, totally took away her ability to believe in what she had been doing for years. But it is regainable. You can regain yourself, and she absolutely did regain herself, and she's in a much better place at this time. So there are people who are dealing with this in their workplace, and it can be just as damaging as dealing with this as the person that you are saying, this is my life partner, or feeling that this is your life partner. And for people that I have dealt with who it was the parent that was very narcissistic, very controlling, very undermining. Some of these people had no idea that their parent was a narcissist. So being brought up that in that way and going through that, they just felt like either they had been failing as a son or a daughter or that they just didn't get it or there was something that they were doing wrong, but what they didn't realize is that they couldn't do it right because the narcissist is constantly setting you up to fail. Before you put forward your effort as a worker, as a son, as a daughter, as a lover, before you put forward your best efforts, you are already set up to fail. So the people that I have done spiritual work with in releasing this energy from their aura who are subjected to the narcissistic parent, the result of that is they drew in the narcissistic love in their life, the person that they chose to be their life partner, the love that had come into their life was a reflection of the narcissistic energy that they had already endured through childhood. So is that to say that everyone who experiences a narcissistic uh, parent 
is going to experience a narcissistic life partner. No, it doesn't mean that. But what it does mean is that there's a very high percentage of children who were exposed to that, who grow up and have that type of relationship or wind up in a situation where they feel that their identity is very compromised or that they're just very unsure of their self because this does leave the traces that it leaves. And it's very, very difficult to shed it. It's very difficult to step out of it. Possible, but difficult. And it's not something where healing on one portion of your being is going to bring you forward from the wounds and the scars of being subjected to narcissism places on you. It has to be a healing that takes place in the mind, in the spirit, and in the body. And when I say in the body, yes, physically, because I have seen and dealt with so many people who literally have IBS, digestive issues, all sorts of stomach problems. A few people who have even had heart problems, but so many stomach problems. And it all stems from dealing with the narcissism. Everything that is endured inside of the solar plexus and inside of the navel Our stomach, this is where we hold so much. And what does the stomach do? We digest into our stomach. So when you're digesting an energetic, um, let's see, what should we refer to it? Like it's like an energetic lump of negativity. You're forcing yourself to digest it. Your system, your spiritual and physical system does not want this. It wants it out. So you're pushing it down and forcing it down. So yes, physically, there are absolutely signs that a person has been subjected to that narcissistic energy. So what I'd like to get into at this time is what it is specifically the seven signs of narcissistic abuse and each sign we're going to touch on the exact chakra that it connects to. And for those of you who do not want to call into the show for whatever your reason is, if you feel you'd like it to be more personal, you can log on to my site, Spiritual Diagnostics, Spiritual D. Dot com. And this will give you a list of services and contact information so that we can definitely go into an auric reading, pick up on your vibrations, and see if you feel that you have been dealing with a narcissistic abuser. Let's see what it has left in your aura and what it is that you would need to heal. So let's start with symptom number one. And, you know, this is, this is a huge one. No empathy. This is a a huge sign. Number one would be no empathy. These people, they truly do not have the capacity for empathy. They do not have the ability to authentically embrace the experiential world of another person, unless for selfish gain. Now, if it has something to do with their gain or their idea of what it would take for their well-being, then they can. So in other words, these people can put on a good, caring show in their efforts to manipulate others for their own personal benefit, but they won't and can't stand in the shoes of another genuinely. They can portray that, and you would really believe it. The narcissist is very, 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 very convincing. So the no empathy is a huge, huge sign. And we're categorizing this as sign number one. This has a lot to do with grounding. So we can talk about how the narcissist thinks in terms of understanding others, 
and how they feel, but let's take it to the spiritual portion as well. And that's about grounding. In order for them to feel grounded in their self, they have to feel that every experience really is for their well-being. It has nothing to do with anyone else. So when a person is subjected to the narcissist and you are subjected to that no empathy, you are definitely going to be affected in your root chakra and your grounding is definitely going to feel off balance and threatened when you come into contact with that energy. The second one, oh, so let's back up for a moment. The no empathy is sign number one, and it goes to the first chakra again, root. The second one, no remorse. These people don't feel bad about any wrongdoing of theirs. Why? There is no consciousness, no compassion, no concern about the impact of the behavior that they're, of theirs on others. So even those that they love, from the narcissistic abuser's point of view, the other person deserves what they got because the narcissistic abuser is always right. Every single time. The no remorse that connects to the second chakra that connects to the navel. So when you are subject to that sign of the narcissistic, the no remorse, your second chakra is affected. This is the chakra that has to do with feeling and connecting. And it's very hard to feel very hard to connect when you've been subjected to somebody who shows absolutely no remorse. And we're going to be touching on the the other signs as soon as we return from this short break. The goal for the Art of Powerful Living Radio is to inspire every human to live lives that are rich, fulfilling, on purpose, and fun. This hit show with Robert Schoenfeld is a fresh approach to boldly living our lives with creativity, courage, patience, wisdom, love, and power. Join Robert every month with Dr. Pat Basili for the Art of Powerful Living Radio. Are you searching? Looking for a sign? A message you need to hear? From the great unknown? From the most mysterious place that is the most familiar to your soul in the depths of who you are? The universe puts someone here to talk to, someone God gave a blessing to that you may find insight with. TheAngelLady.net. 1-800-323-1790. Are you struggling in a relationship and deeply craving some tools and support to get things back on track? Do you crave having a loving, compassionate relationship with Mr. Right, but always seem to pick Mr. Wrong? Well, Sarah Luce can help. She's created a four-week online course starting September 28th that will teach you how to shift your energy and behavior to have new transformative outcomes. And you're going to get a personal one-on-one session with Sarah to ensure you get powerful, personal results. Sign up today at sarahluce.com. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net. Tune in each Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. We are back. It's so wonderful to be here. It's about half past the hour, and it is just awesome to be talking to all of you. 
And again, we're talking about narcissistic energy. For those of you who would like to call in, share your experiences, ask questions, feel free to do so at 1-800-930-2819. That's 1-800-930-2819. Or you can call after the show and receive your complimentary reading at 312 312- That's 312-898-2285. Or log on to our site at spirituald.com. So we talked about the no empathy, which connects to chakra number one, the root. No remorse, which connects to the second chakra, which is the navel. And now let's go to number three. And this is entitled. These people hold rights in their frame of thinking that others would never assume. They live in a world in which they have privilege to, that which is beyond your imagination. So whether they are objectifying you or ruling over your life, They truly believe that they deserve what they seek when and where they seek it. See, that's the key. It's when and where they seek it. So because it's already theirs before the asking, they feel that this is automatically their entitlement. It is automatically theirs. And this is where this third sign, the entitled, This is where that solar plexus chakra really goes through, again, that damage. So we talked about earlier in the show the undermining your self-confidence. This entitlement really is a huge factor in the undermining because they feel that they are deserving, because they feel that they are entitled They have to break you down to make you understand that you are not and that you are not on their level in any way, nor should you ever attempt to be. And being subjected to that long enough, you can really start believing that. You can actually start to take that in and feel like they must be right. And that's where you become separated from your identity. So number three is that entitled, and it goes to the third chakra. It damages the solar plexus. And we'll go to number four, deceptive. So they will tell you whatever they believe you need to know in order to get what they are attempting to extract from you. It's all about extraction. It's all about taking from you. The narcissist wants you in their life for exactly what they need and nothing more. To these people, a lie is not a lie. It's a mechanism to leverage an outcome. It's a misrepresentation of information. It's the twisting of facts. And it's designed to convert another into compliance with the respond to that which they pursue. So it's they're going to be telling you whatever they feel they need to in order for you to be saying, oh, yes, of course. And if you don't say that, you don't agree with them, they're going to keep misrepresenting a situation to you in many different ways until you do see it their way. That deceptive sign really damages the heart chakra. When we have been deceived and we are being lied to, it's very damaging to the heart because when you are taking somebody at face value, you're opening your heart to their communication. You're opening your heart's energy to take them in for face value. When you find that what was presented to you has been a total misrepresentation, it's very damaging to the heart. So what it does to the heart chakra is it causes the heart chakra to become guarded 
and feel the need to go almost into a hermit response, sort of turn inward and desire to be alone in order to feel safe. So that deceptiveness, number four, really does attack that fourth chakra. And it attacks it on so many different levels. Even though there are other symptoms and other signs here that go to other chakras, the two that are the most affected by narcissistic energy, I would have to say would be definitely the solar plexus chakra and definitely the heart chakra. So let's move to number five. And this is the one that I refer to as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and other people I have heard <laughs> refer to the, the same in this sign. So these people, they project a persona that's 180 degrees from who and what they really are. So whether it's a priest, doctor, attorney, accountant, or philanthropist for that matter, they are not as they wish to have you believe. For example, they can be someone allegedly protecting an elderly person from financial exploitation, but all the while emotionally exploiting the person by using them and draining them. And their, their mission is to influence the behavior of that person's maybe son or daughter who is in control of that person's decision-making. I've definitely seen that one. And when we go to that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that fifth sign of the narcissistic behavior, it really affects the fifth chakra. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra, and this is communication. So when the narcissist portrays their self as a doctor or an attorney or somebody who is out there for your better interest, they're taking away your voice because they represent it to you in a way where you are not able to speak for yourself. You are not able to proceed for yourself. I have to do that for you. I have to advocate for you. They're always making their self seem like they are doing something for you. So when they do that, they're really taking away that voice. They're taking away that expression. And sometimes they're making you feel like you are not able to speak on behalf of loved ones or people who are connected to you because you need to speak it through them. They need to do your bidding. They need to do your communicating. And they're, they're trying to make you feel while they're doing all of this that they are protecting you and that they really have your absolute best interest. And that's usually why the narcissist will take on I'm not saying that every priest, doctor, or attorney is a narcissist, of course, but they will usually take on a position of trust and authority. And again, it connects to the fifth chakra. And this is where it definitely chips away at your ability to express your truth or speak on behalf of somebody that you really do have the best interest at heart for. And we'll go to number six, the sixth sign, emotionally dependent. And this is this one is huge. These people are requiring the emotional support and admiration. So their narcissistic supply of oxygen to sustain them is the admiration the emotional support. They're looking for this. They want you to feel that they are in a place that is so grand and they really want to feel this admiration. This is definitely their oxygen. So they truly cannot function naturally and normally without the object of their narcissistic abuse serving as the foundation for their existence. 
And this definitely connects to the sixth chakra. This is the third eye. And this is our ability to see beyond. This is where you're not just seeing, you're not just taking into your heart and into your instinct, what your eyes see, but what you sense and see beyond within your spirit. It's like they take away permission for you to have your own vision, your own sight. And once that vision and once that sight is taken away and you're constantly looking to them for that, this is where they get that fulfillment and that oxygen that sustains them because they want you to feel that you truly cannot function without them when in fact they truly cannot function without your admiration and without your dependency. So even when it seems like it's the other way around, because remember folks, the narcissist is very, very good at twisting and misrepresenting, even though you feel it's the other way around while you're in it, the facts are they cannot function without you, but they are causing you to feel that you cannot see and you cannot function without them. And that's where it really connects sixth sign, sixth chakra. And when we return from our short break, we are going to be going to the seventh sign of the narcissist and how it connects to the seventh chakra. We will touch on that as soon as we return from this break. Curious about the meaning of life? Do you want to deepen your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. The school also organizes group meditations each year to benefit humanity. Whether you're just beginning to reflect on the spiritual side of your life or are a more experienced spiritual seeker, the school warmly welcomes you to join our group. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit esotericstudies.net. That's esotericstudies.net. Brand consultant Jen Morgan is here with Radically Distinct Radio to help you take control of your future and maximize your brand's power to produce results. Whether you're an individual trying to reinvent yourself and launch a new venture, or you're an executive trying to reposition your company to modernize your sales and marketing programs, Jen Morgan and the Rad Method empower you to play to your strengths and show up in the world as your most powerful brand. To learn more, go to jenmorgan.com. That's Jen with two N's, morgan.com, or call 206 970 have you wanted to make more money without working harder or more? Maybe you've tried new ways to bring in extra income without success. Hi, my name is Deb Acker, and in addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including abundance. Did you know many times we have an invisible income ceiling? So no matter what we do, our income never goes up, or if our income does go up, we experience an unexpected expense that negates this. How much would it be worth to significantly increase your income or even have unexpected income show up? When I was in the corporate world, I used these techniques to increase my income by tens of thousands of dollars without changing my work routine. In fact, I worked even less, and I now help clients do the same. If this resonates for you and you're truly ready for abundance in your life, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. 
Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Check us out at drpatshow.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. Oh, my goodness. And we are back. It's so great to be here. We're talking about narcissistic energy, the effects that it has on the mind, the body, and the spirit. Before we took this break, we left off talking about the signs. We left off at emotionally dependent being number six and how it connects to the sixth chakra being the third eye. And before we get to number seven, I would like to let each and every person know who is listening, and I cannot say it enough. If you have been exposed to this type of energy, whether it has been through parents, whether it has been through intimate relationship, whether it has been through coworkers, there is help, there is clearing, and there is guidance. For those of you who would like to call in during the show, you can do so. We have a little bit of time left at 1-800-930-2819, or you can give me a call after the show for a complimentary consultation, 312-898-2285. That's 312-898-2285. 2285 or log on to our site spirituald.com. For those of you who feel that you have gone through this and you have not been able to recover after being exposed to this type of energy, or some of you might be listening to this and be saying, you know, I never really knew that the person that I was subjected to who had this effect on me was a narcissist. You may be feeling the pain of it and just not knowing that it was from a narcissistic vibration. Wherever you're at and whatever situation refers to you or draws to you through hearing this, there is help. Through spiritual cleansing, we can absolutely locate and identify the portions that you have received in which portions of your chakras, which portions of your aura, and exactly what needs to be done to release this energy for you to be able to have the right relationship in your life, for you to be able to move forward when it comes to your career path, if you feel that this is just blocking you on having friendships, if you have been exposed to this type of energy in whatever way you are being affected by it, There is a solution and there is cleansing. There is healing for you to regain yourself, your identity, and your confidence. Because that is what becomes the most damaged through being exposed to that narcissistic energy. So again, call after the show at 312 898 Two two eight five. That's three one two eight nine eight two two eight five. And we are about to approach the seventh sign and how it connects to the seventh chakra. And this is where battering is used for control. So when the narcissistic supply is in question, battering becomes the way to level the playing field. And this is their means to shift the power and control within the relationship. It is their way to tip the scale, so to speak, in their favor. So this is where they feel that they can gain the advantage that they need to feel on top again. So it's if all else fails, this is usually the area that they'll go into. And this battering 
may present as verbal abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse, sexual abuse, or even physical abuse. It's the striking and maneuvering intent to diminish and to disempower so as to nourish the deficiency in their self, they will cause you to be deficient in some way. And these are the signs. These signs are very familiar when it comes to the narcissist. So they'll start to deprive you of financial means or communicating with somebody that you care about. It's, it's a battering that really, really strikes the crown chakra. When somebody takes that type of battering approach, the crown becomes very, very clouded. This is the center in where we take in information and we process it. So when you're, when your necessities are being taken away from you or things that you need or things that you desire or things that you enjoy, the way that you take in information starts to become compromised. You start to take this in as some people take this in as a punishment that they did deserve or that they have to work to undo or, or show that they have become better or that they have learned their lesson that the narcissist is trying to teach them and bring them to. And that battering, a lot of times what people don't understand is that just because a person isn't being hit, if they're, if something is being taken from the taken from them that they need, or you're being insulted, that is a very strong abuse an emotional abuse. So that is the seventh sign. And it does connect to that seventh chakra. So we've gone through the seven chakras. We've gone through the seven signs and how it is that they connect the type of work that is done to release this energy is that we go through each chakra, clearing out the energy. There are certain mantras that we use, certain breath work, but it's not just a chakra balancing. You have to go through which portion of that chakra has been damaged through being subjected to this. You know, chakra balancing is good work, but it pretty much just covers the basic energy levels. So what we do is we go through each portion of the chakra, how it has connected to the aura, what needs to be done to release it, and bringing you into that understanding of what you've been subjected to and sending that vibrational frequency also into your energy field to free you, clear you, release you, and place you on the path that you were meant to be on, not the path that your abuser has placed you on through their narcissistic disorder. There is help, there is release, and it is out there for you. You can regain your identity, who you are, where you're meant to be, and what it is that you want. Because the narcissistic person, they do take that away from you, even to the point of you knowing what it is that you want. Through restoring your identity, through you becoming restored within yourself, you will obtain the peace, the happiness, and the love that you desire. And for those of you who have been listening to this, Again, feel free to call after the show at 312-898-2285. Again, that's 312-898-2285. Or log on to our site, spirituald.com. Everyone who has been listening will receive a complimentary aura reading. We will pick up through your voice vibrations what is happening in your aura, what is happening in your chakras, and what residual has been left behind through being exposed to narcissistic energy. And at the end of the reading, we will provide a method of release for you to clear this energy. 
It has been absolutely wonderful speaking with all of you today, sending out to each and every person light, love, and blessings. Till next time, namaste. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio, Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Carol Dorian and Justice Welling, diagnosing the spiritual cause of unwanted life patterns. For more information on your favorite healers, visit spirituald.com and tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio to receive your weekly dose of enlightenment.